Hi everyone. So, this has been Nelson. It's been lovely. It's a really lovely place. It's just been really strange because <laughs> while I've been here, I've managed to lose my little toe now. Not the actual toe, just the nail. I've picked up so many bites like gnat, mosquito, I don't know, whatever they are, but so many. And they were just on my ankles before. They're now all over my arms. And if you know me, I get them quite bad. I don't know if oh, it's all under all my bags, but I get them really bad. They kind of swell up quite big. So suffering from a few of those at the moment. Yesterday, I got a message about my train crossing from Christchurch to Greymouth being cancelled because of land slippage. So the train tracks and the roads are not open. So I had to rearrange all that and that just went crazy because I spent literally a couple of hours last night trying to sort it out with all the buses being booked where everyone's obviously done alternative transport to go round that area. <sighs> so I finally managed to book myself a bit of a nightmare. Plane from Christchurch down to Queenstown, stay there quickly just for one night to then get a bus up to Franz Josef where I need to be to do my glacier helicopter ride and hike because I don't want to miss out that which I've booked and then I will go back down to Queenstown to where I'm meant to be for that time so I've managed to do an alternative I think it's cost me like an extra 60 to 80 pounds and I'm missing out on the train journey that I was actually really excited about however sad that medicine may seem it sounded like such a beautiful scenic route but what can I do? So it is what it is. Plans change, you kind of have to just roll with it. But it was just a bit scary last night when I couldn't seem to find an alternative to get me anywhere. It was a nightmare. But you know what? Things always work out some way, somehow in the end, even if it's changing things entirely, which such as not doing that route, not getting to see Greymouth, which is a bit of a shame. You know, change the stuff you can, control the stuff you can, but you can't let go of, deal with, do what you need to do, and move on. So, yeah, I'm planned with that now. But Nelson itself has been lovely. Again, it's been a town where I haven't had to spend much because all the museums and art galleries and the sightseeing and looking up, going up a hill and looking out at the view, going to the centre of New Zealand, going to the beach, all of that is free. So it's, you can, apart from all the flights, you can do New Zealand pretty cheaply. Food, drink costs a lot. Accommodation you can do cheap like you can anywhere if you, if you really want to. You can do expensive if you want to too. If you don't want to do the skydiving, if you don't want to do the, the wow watching, etc, etc, you can do it pretty cheap. But yeah, so that's Nelson, first place in South Island. I am now moving on to Christchurch today by bus. We'll catch up with you when I get off the other end. I've got quite exciting accommodation, so catch up with you soon. This was my excitement. So I am staying in what was a prison or jailhouse and it's really odd because it still looks like a prison inside like they've kept the open middle bits and then around the outside are all the cell rooms and some of them are changed into toilets and bathrooms so that people can shower and the upstairs you've got the whole just the, you know the ring round where people then go round and you go to the individual cells so yeah it's really odd it's quite exciting um I'm a little bit out of town. I'm actually in the next town over, Addington, or area, I don't know. But I'm actually in Addington. It's like half hour from the city centre. But how could I not stay in a former jailhouse? <laughs> so yeah, it's just definitely different. I'm staying in a 10 bed dorm, which is the biggest dorm I've been in so far. But I'm sure it'll be fine. It looks quite nice because there's actually a section upstairs where there's like called a quiet zone where after like nine, I think it was, between nine and 8.30, it's quiet. So if people are out or if people are making noise in the dorm, you can just go and sit out there and read or 
go on the internet or do whatever you're doing. So that's quite a nice idea. I don't care if it's sad that I'm happy about a quiet zone, but you know what, it's the way I travel. So yeah, so that's looking good. So far what I've seen of Christchurch has been a bit industrial. I've just kind of come out of town and I've not really been in the city centre. I was just starting to think that the buses always run late and just resign myself to it, when today it got into Christchurch 40 minutes early. 40 minutes, that's ridiculous. So, being that it's still quite early, doesn't look it doesn't look so sunny it's quite great today but I'm gonna go check out Hagley Park and there's the botanical gardens which if I get some time I'll have a look in that and then find somewhere because where I am it doesn't look like there's any supermarkets around and I was actually gonna buy food and cook for myself and be sensible but oh well I might just have to eat out what a shame um, if I can't find somewhere, there's quite a few cafes and restaurants and bars around here so I'm sure I won't be disappointed if I go somewhere local to here for dinner. But I was going to be sensible because I'm here for a few days. Tomorrow I've got to be up at like 6am. I've got to get a bus to go Kaikoura because I'm well watching. I'm doing this video because I want you to know that I genuinely tried to look for a supermarket. I had a lovely walk through the parks, it rained but so gorgeous um, and then spent two hours, two hours getting acquainted with the town which is good but trying to find a supermarket and there is not one and I've gone in every direction so if anyone knows of one in Christchurch it's going to be too late by the time you see this to let me know but I just I genuinely cannot find one. So. I'm going out for dinner. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get showered because I feel rotten um, and I've got an early start tomorrow so I'm going to get showered now and I'm going to go out for a nice meal somewhere relatively cheap because I didn't really want to spend too much money but not really much else to do and there's plenty of little restaurants and bars along here so I'll be able to find somewhere. So yeah, not my fault, I'm not to blame. Just wanted to get that on the record. But yeah, so I've got an early start tomorrow. Probably won't be vlogging, but I will let you know how the while watching goes later. Okay, bye.